Hey White Sox, just want to do uh, send a quick video while um, the season's still fresh on our mind before I hang up the hat and the, the jersey. I um, want to start out by thanking really a lot of people, um, starting with the parents. You guys, I know it was a big um, time commitment for this whole season to, to make it work, taking the kids to practice. A lot of you um, practiced at home with your, your boys, bringing snacks, the list goes on on what you guys did to make this a su successful season. Um, so thank all of you for that. Um, thanks to Coach uh, Calvin and Tim um, couldn't ask for better better guys to coach with. I think we made a great team and um, working with guys that um, that you get along with and that you um, you coach well with, you know, makes a huge difference and makes it so much more enjoyable. So I appreciate everything you guys did. Um, to the to the boys, I, I know you guys are disappointed and probably not even as disappointed as I am right now. Um, some of you are disappointed because we didn't win the championship. Some of you are disappointed because. Um, you may not have played as well as you thought you could have. Some of you are just disappointed because there aren't any more games for the season. Um, for me, it's all three and, and maybe even more. Um, but, you know, that's just baseball. There's there's eight, eight teams and there's only going to be one that wins it. So seven out of eight teams go through this. Um, and it happens. You do your best to be that best team. But it's it's the majority of us um, have to deal with the loss. And, and frankly, I think part of the reason why we lost um, is we let the pressure get to us. I know that, you know, we, it seemed like we probably had the most talented team, but um, we all, I think, were a little bit nervous there, and, and it kind of got to us and, and maybe brought down our performance a little bit more than it, than it should have. And, and that's natural. It's human nature. You guys are young. Um, you're going to be in many, many more situations throughout your life where it's high pressure and you have to perform under pressure. Um, and you just have to really learn how to, how to rise to the occasion and, and calm yourself and, and, and play well or perform well, whatever you're doing. Um, you know, I'm not just talking about baseball. You'll have other baseball games that are high pressure that you have to, um, you know, work through that stress. Um, you'll have exams, tests at school where, you know, you're going to have high pressure and you don't want to perform poorly simply because you're nervous. Um, as you get older, you'll have job interviews, stuff like that, where you may be nervous and, and you want to be able to perform well, even though you know it's a big moment and, and you put some stress on yourself because of that. Um, and, and really a couple things you can do to, to help you out with that. A big thing is just preparation. You know, if you're, if you if you spend the time before the moment, um, whether that's studying hard for the exam or practicing hard for the game or whatever it is, um, if you if you prepare ahead of time, then you go into that situation with confidence that you've gone through the process and you know what you've, you you did everything you could to set yourself up for success, and that confidence will calm you down and, and make you perform better. So, the preparation is key there. And then the other big thing is just being in these situations, every time you're in one of these situations, um, it makes it easier the next time. So I see this moment as a good thing for you guys. It's, it's hard in the short term, but in the long term, um, every time you guys deal with these high pressure situations, it'll make it a little bit easier the next time. So um, even though it's tough, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing for you guys to go through this and it won't be the last one, unfortunately, but you know, those are, those are the fun moments in life where, um, you know, the stakes are high and you, you, you see how well you do whenever it comes comes down to it. Um, but regardless, uh, couldn't be more proud of the, the, you guys. Um, I know everybody had fun. Everybody improved tremendously. Ended up having the best regular or season, sorry, best record in the regular season, which is um, very, very difficult to do. We I think we only lost one game in the regular season, which was our first game as we were trying to learn how to hit. So you guys did awesome. Nothing to hang your heads about. Um, super proud of you guys. Just uh, keep on practicing over the winter. You know, if you guys try to avoid getting rusty before spring, that way you'll go into the spring um, as one of the, you know, one of the top kids in the league, and you'll you'll have even more fun doing that. Um, so so keep on practicing, and uh, we'll see you guys in the spring. Thanks for everything.